Right, it's time to show off some gameplay of Hollywood Heights, which is another map that hasn't really been detailed all that much by the Visceral team, but I do think it is another map that those close quarters infantry players will really find exciting. Now, as you can see already, this is one of, I think, the two night maps that we'll be shipping with Battlefield Hardline, with the other being Grow House. And this map, centers around a large mansion that you can see in the gameplay right here. There's more destruction present, but not quite as much as what the block offered. You're more contained to like the inside walls of the building being destructible, and there's a pretty cool Levolution event as well, which really does let you ramp up the destruction on this map just that little bit further. You have the ability to completely destroy the front portion of the mansion. There are four concrete pillars underneath the bottom level down by the pool. If you destroy those, the front of the house will fall down into the pool area. Now, unfortunately, when I was trying to record that section of Levolution, I, I kind of screwed up a little bit. I got killed halfway through the Levolution itself. I hadn't bothered to move as I was too interested in watching it fall over. So I am working on trying to get that footage from you. There were plenty of people at the event that I have contact with who might be willing to give me their footage. So you may have to wait for tomorrow to see that event, but I can put it in a video with the Everglades Levolution, which I think is even more of a gameplay changer than what we have here on Hollywood Heights. Game modes that worked really well on Heights were Blood Money, Team Deathmatch and Heist. Just the location of this map itself seemed to fit those game modes so much more than any of the others. And that's not to say that other game modes didn't work very well though. Conquest, for example, is like spread across the whole map, allowing you to access smaller houses either side of the main mansion. And it's nice and spread out, just like you'd expect Conquest to be. There's a lot more to this map than what you might think. One of those things that I didn't expect was the presence of a transport chopper on this map. I really didn't feel it was going to be big enough to accommodate one, but then I realised that most of the action that is taking place is inside a building, which is somewhere that the bullets from this helicopter can't get to. Like I said, the outside walls of this building aren't destructible apart from the Levolution event at the back. It was another nice gameplay twist, and it, it kind of fits the scene as well, considering there is a helipad on the map anyway, and it's a really large mansion on the side of a Hollywood hill. You'd expect somebody to have a lot of money if they were living in that location. Now, the L85A2. I spoke about this in my last video, and I said it worked well at longer ranges. Well, be prepared for me to suck majorly with it, on a game of heist on bank job. Probably one of the most close quarters infantry style maps that you can get within Battlefield Hardline. This was one of the very first games that I played yesterday and as I said I'm playing on PlayStation 4 here so my aim is stupidly poor. But I did want to show you what the weapon looked like in game and how it performed a little bit. This thing fires slow but packs a punch at those longer ranges. It kicks about a bit when you attach a 4x scope but I feel that's the best way to use it. Although there aren't that many situations on these smaller maps that I'd feel like I'd want to equip myself with the L85 because it's just simply outgunned by everything that can fire faster than it. The gun is really more suited to maps like Riptide and Dust Bowl where there are those longer ranges and those longer lines of sight to really show where the gun excels. So there you have it, a good look at the new Hollywood Heights map that hasn't really been shown off before, and the pre-order weapon, the L85A2. Now I said that I wanted to show those pre-order weapons off to you. A lot of people expressed concerns that they thought they might be the most powerful weapons within the game. And when I tweeted out yesterday that I was at the event if there was anything that you wanted to see, a lot of people replied saying they wanted to see the pre-order weapons. They wanted to see whether they were any good. So I've proven to you so far that pretty much all three of them aren't really anything to write home about and they are just three other weapons and they all have counterparts that are already in the base game, weapons that you can already use if you don't want to buy the deluxe edition. As I said, I will be looking to release a video tomorrow about these two really cool Levolution events within Hardline on Everglades and Hollywood Heights and if I have time I may post a third video tonight about some of the other maps that you haven't seen a huge amount of yet. 
with Riptide and Derailed probably being the most likely. Hope you enjoyed the video though, leave me a rating and a comment if you did enjoy it, and don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash westy for great deals on the latest games. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.